Hi, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another homeschool video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all about what is in our 2020-2021 morning basket. I've made quite a few videos about our morning basket through the years as it has changed. I'll make sure to link them in the description box down below, as well as up here in the cards for you to be able to check out if you're interested in some of those. And if you're unsure what a morning basket is, it's basically a collection of books and activities. It looks a little different for every family, um, but it's a collection of books and activities, uh, maybe some poetry books, some history books, some chapter book read aloud. And it's a time where everyone in the homeschool can gather together and basically learn together. I love the way Pam Barnhill explains morning basket on her website. So I'm going to read right from her website and it says a morning basket is a time in the day when everyone in the family can come together and learn together about specific subjects. All ages can homeschool together doing activities like reading aloud, studying the arts, or even efficiently combining students for subjects like history and science. So there's a short little description of what it is. Again, I have multiple videos kind of going more in depth about how we use it, that kind of thing. So if you want to see those, I'll put them in the description box below, but I'm just going to focus this video on um, what is in our morning basket this year. First thing that we have in our morning basket is the Playful Pioneers curriculum. This is the thing that I am most excited about this year. In years past, I have just pieced together my morning basket books myself, um, but this curriculum makes it really, really easy for you. It has um, weekly schedules, daily schedules. It has a full book list. It's covering um, early American history for the most part. Um, we are only a couple weeks into it, but we are absolutely loving it. Um, it covers everything from history, a little bit of science. It does um, covers poetry. There are recipes and things that you cook and bake along the way. There's also little like projects and handicrafts and things. I'm really excited to share with you that this portion of today's video is sponsored by a company called Lingo Bus. LingoBus is an online Chinese learning platform that teaches children ages 5 to 12 how to speak Chinese. They teach live classes over the internet using a computer or an iPad, and they're able to teach children Chinese all over the world at times that are convenient for you and the family wherever they are. LingoBus uses immersive classes with experienced and engaging teachers who are credentialed and certified. You can book a free one-on-one -on -one class today. See how much your child can learn in just one class. Congratulations! Now please say, 你好,我叫. Ready, go! 你好,我叫. Adeline. My daughter has really enjoyed taking these classes. She's learned a lot and even the younger siblings join in and I've heard even my two-year-old repeating some of the Chinese words and phrases, which has been really fun. Something I've really enjoyed about Lingo Bus is how simple they make the scheduling process. There's a parent dashboard and you can go in there and schedule the classes when it's convenient for you. They have several types of classes. They have a one-on-one -on -one live class where they're live interacting with the teacher from China. And then they have group classes where there are multiple children in the class and they end up kind of participating together and they can actually see the other child occasionally when the little video pops up, which is super fun. Overall, we've been really impressed with the Lingo Bus platform. As I said, the parent dashboard is super easy to navigate, as well as the app on the iPad is really fun and engaging. They keep the lessons super fun and upbeat. They're about 25 minutes long and it keeps my daughter's attention the whole time. There are activities for them to drag and draw with their finger. It's really a super fun way for children to learn a foreign language, so I hope you'll check it out. If you're interested in trying out Lingo Bus, they've been kind enough to give my viewers a discount code. And so I'll have that listed in the video description down below, as well as a link for you to be able to check out their website and their platform for yourself. It also covers Bible, it covers narration, 
illustration and um, copy work. All of that is here in one place for you, which makes it, like I said, just super, super easy. So I'll show you what week one looks like. You can download a sample on the peacefulpress.com is the website um, for this curriculum. And so they, they'll give you a free sample on there if you wanna check it out. Um, but I am just gonna show you week one so you can get an idea of what this kind of format is and what it looks like. The so week one they have here, sing, read, and pray. And then we're going to read in the ology. So this is the ology book. Um, we've really been enjoying this story in here. You just read a couple of pages every day. Um, for this curriculum. The next thing is reading. And so we're reading Farmer Boy right now. And so my kids have really been enjoying that. Um, if you've already read through the Little House series, they do give you the option of read through Little Britches, of reading through Little Britches um, instead. So you can kind of alternate just depending on what you guys have done in the past. The next part is oral or written narration, and they actually do have student sheets. It does come as just a digital file and so i did have mine printed off at our local print shop and bound with like a little protective cover and a little cover on the back just to kind of help it to hold up through the school year so they do come with student worksheets and you can print them off um, depending on the age of your student so they're ones that are um, print regular print so they can just copy it there are ones that are in cursive as well um, and so there are little copy work sections and things already done for you so you don't have to do any extra work there, which I love. The next thing is, um, it says for science and history to color a map of North America, which is also provided for you in your student books. For math and phonics, you do that on your own. That's not included in the um, Playful Pioneers curriculum. And then they do an art or practical skills section. So this one is looking at the um, a piece of art. And so they actually have a separate book for that that I did get printed off here. And I had these printed in color so that way we could get the full effect of the art, of course. So it just has you looking at this piece of art. And then down the line, the next day you're gonna draw and color a horse because you're reading a book called Horses. And then you are dyeing a silk handkerchief and then you're making a recipe later on in the week of um, popcorn. And so there's also a cookbook. I had that printed off as well. You could keep some of this stuff on the computer if you don't wanna have it printed off, um, but we were able to get a really good price at our local print shop. So this is the little cookbook. And so it has the recipe there for you to be able to do as like your practical skill um, in the week. One warning I do wanna give about the Playful Pioneers is that the book list that is recommended is quite extensive. So um, if you don't have a good library nearby, which we don't, um, they're pretty good libraries, but they just don't have a lot of the books that I want. I like some of the older books and just some that are a little more quality and not so new and they don't really carry that. So what I ended up doing is is printing off the book list and going through uh, Better World Books is one of my favorite ways to buy books. Thrift Books is another way to buy them used. And then um, Amazon as like my last resort if I couldn't find them on the other two websites. I was able to kind of go through and choose whichever one was cheapest, whether it was on Thrift Books was cheaper or Better World Books. And I kind of was able to combine them all and get a bunch of shipments over a cup of span of a couple of weeks and get all the books that we needed for this. Um, um, but just that is a warning. The curriculum itself is only, I think, like $49 on their website. Um, and then, of course, it costs a bit to get it printed. And then the books cost quite a bit, unless you can get them from your library, which, of course, would be awesome. Um, but my thinking is that we are going to read these books for their entire childhood. And they're all just really beautiful, well-chosen books um, that teach a lot. They're living books. You know, if you're familiar with the Charlotte Mason style, they are um, just really intriguing and interesting for the kids to read. So they're good quality books. And so my husband and I didn't mind investing in getting those. Also within the Playful Pioneers, they do have Bible verse cards. And so they encourage, of course, Bible memorization, which we are gonna follow along with, just like they suggest. Also, we're going to be reading out of the Child Story Bible by Catherine F. Voss. We've heard really good things about this Bible. So we've been mostly reading out of the Jesus Storybook Bible, but we've gone through that several times. And so I felt like my children were ready for something a little bit more in depth. And so we're going to be reading out of this one this year. The next thing we're gonna do is a little bit of extra poetry. The Playful Pioneers does 
um, include poetry in it, but we are going to be adding in some of this one by Shirley Hughes called Out and About, a first book of poems. It goes through the seasons. Um, and I just love ones like that that are uh, the seasonal poetry book. So we're very excited about this. It has beautiful illustrations. We're super excited. That's everything that's in our morning basket for this year. I'm going to be doing a much more in-depth look inside of the Playful Pioneers for you. I'm going to be filming that video right after this one. So if you're interested in seeing more about the Playful Pioneers and really looking inside of it, um, check out that video. That'll be out shortly after this one. Um, thanks for being here today. If you have any questions about morning basket, or morning time, anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And I would love to hear from you if you do morning basket in your house. Have you used any curriculums for it or do you prefer to just pick and choose your books like I've always done in the past? I would love to know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.